Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Daryl. Welcome back to the channel. Before we dive into setting up the accounts and connecting everything, I wanted to quickly share my key objective for the algorithmic trading. These goals help me to choose the right platform so I can build, test, and run my algos efficiently. The first things that I would like to have is the freedom. I want to have a great freedom um, with the full Python support so that I can cook exactly what I need without any platform restrictions. And then some, I have some concern about the cost, so I would like to have everything to be free to start. I need the ability to test and backtest without any upfront platform or data causes. And then finally, I really would like to have a great flexibility and scalability that could support my complex logics like the dynamic position sizing, uh, different types of um, order, orders, and different, different types of um, conditions or executions. And also, I would like to manage multiple bots across different markets, instruments, and account with ease. And th therefore, um, therefore, I would like to um, let you know how I pick those platform. Now that you know my objective, let's walk through a little bit about the platform um, that I've tested so far and see how well um, or how suitable in which one of them um, could support my Python based algo trading. The first one is the MT5, which is a very great entry point. There's essentially um, no cost to get started and you can get access to free demos account and real-time data and also the Python supports a weird different library. Um, of course, the problem is that it's not native Python, but it's more than enough for full automations, to be honest. The second one is the um, IB, IBKL. And the, to be honest, the interactive bookers um, is incredibly powerful and give you the full access to a wide range of global markets. The, the only problem um, is that it comes with some learning curve and also it requires some pay markets data, even for the paper trading. And also, um, but, the, but at, the end, at the end of the day, the setup is, um, uh, the setup is very perfect, uh, except that um, it's more advanced. Um, the first, um, the first platform that I've tried is the Futubu, um, which does offer a um, does offer a Python SDK, which is a very nice touch. But the features are limited, and also the algo uh, ecosystem um, just isn't mature enough yet, and not not too, um, not not so many um, um, user, uh, not so many uh, developers are using it. And that is the main problem, so that the, the ecosystem is just not too mature. And final, the final one is the Trading Wheel, which is one of the best platforms out there for strategy, visualizations, uh, setting up the alert, and also the chatting. Um, but it doesn't support the Python, or um, it's not so uh, mature, um, the, so it's not a fit for um, full uh, algorithm um, aut automations. Well, of course, each platform serves a different purpose, but um, not all of them uh, align with my needs as a Python-based algo trader. Now, let's break it down um, further. Um, starting with the MD5, this one basically takes all the, uh, all the box. It gives me the free demo access with the real data, uh, integrates um, well with Python using the MT5 library and supports the bad testing and live trading across the multiple uh, broker. It's being uh, beginner friendly, but also scalable, which is perfect for where I'm heading. I'm headed. And then the second one is the um, interactive poker, which is a partial fit. It has an excellent API, especially if you were using their library. Um, it covers pretty much um, every access cards you can think of. But between the pay data fees, higher accounting, so re higher accounts requirements, and steeper learning curve, it's better suited for um, more advanced traders or um, institutions. And then the final two 
uh, basically they are not to fit um, for the purpose. So um, I'm not going to pick them. And based on everything we've um, just just covered, and I finally uh, decided to use the MT5, which is that it is free to start and it supports the full Python um, automations. It handles complex strategy strategy logics and is scalable across um, uh, across the brokers and also the accounts. And that is why I've chosen uh, I've chosen MT5 as the foundations for my algo trading system. Now that we've made the call, let's move on on setting up the accounts and connecting everything so that um, so we can get some um, start building the bot. To use MT5, you will definitely need to uh, connect it uh, to a broker that supports a platform. Here I chose uh, Pepperstone as an example. Um, the main reason is that they offer a free demo accounts that closely um, mirror um, the, the mirror real life real life uh, trading conditions, including the price, the spread, the execution spread, and the platform behavior. So basically, the demos account are exactly the same as the live account. This means that you can test your al algorithm al algorithms with free under the same conditions you face in a live environment. And once your, uh, once your um, programs or your bot performs well, done on, uh, well on the demo, you can seamlessly switch to the live trading using the same codes, the same setup with no extra adjustment. And finally, in addition, uh, Pepperstone is known for tight spreads and also fast executions, which is ideal for um, automated um, trading. With the official MT5 Python package, what I need to do is to do an integrations uh, with um, with the Python. Um, that that's the uh, with the official MT5, it will allow me to connect my Python scripts directly to the MT5 terminal, uh, retrieve the live or historical market data, um, so that I can plan, manage, and monitor the trades um, programmatically. Uh, this gives me say, a Unify the workflow from strategy developments to executions all within Python. So finally, combining um, combining everything, combining the power of the MT5 platform, a broker like uh, Pepperstones that offer a re reliable, realistic demo environments and the flexibility of the Python's automa automations, uh, we will get a setup that is scalable, flexible, and risk managed. It perfect for development, testing, and also deploying the algorithmic trading strategies confidently. Now, I've, we've chosen um, MD5 and the selected Pepperstone as our broker. Let's work through how to register for a free demo account so, get, so that we can start testing our algos right away. Step one, the first things that you would like to do is to research the Pepperstone's um, official web page and then just click on the join now and then you just need to basically fill in the your basic information, the name, the email, the country, your, your phone numbers and etc. and follow the palms to complete your registrations. And remember, make sure that you select the demo account option during the process. After that, you can just simply um, log in to your account. And once you are locked in, you once you are locked in, you will see there's a gray button here that will allow you to add trading account. What you need to do is to click on this button at a trading account and then remember choose the MT5, the MetaTrader 5 as your platform. And then within, I guess, one or two minutes, you will receive an email with your login credentials, including your account numbers and passwords and the MT5 server's details. Be sure, uh, just check your spam folder if you don't see it right away. So once you 
get your account credential, something like this one, the step six, and you're ready to connect the, to the MT5 to Python and begin testing your strategy with live market data. And now that you, you've just um, created your, um, your Pepperstone demos accounts, the next step is to connect to the MT5 so you can start trading and testing your um, algos. The first thing is that, is that you need to go to the official MT5 website and then download the tools that downloads the MT5 and and then for um, and then of course you need to choose uh, which versions that fits your operating system. Once installed, open the MT5 and go to the top menu, click file, and then select uh, the open an account. Next, you want to search your broker just in case if you are not using the Pepperstone. Um, and if you are using other broker, just search your broker by name. But, but for example, here we are using Pepperstone. We just need to type the Pepperstone in the search box. And then once you see your broker and then you just click on the links and then choose the connect with your existing trade account. Remember, you, you just got your login credential uh, via, the, um, via the emails um, from the Pepperstone. So what you just need to do is to fill in your account number and password. And then, of course, let's the appropriate server, uh, which is a demo um, in my cases. Once connected, the MT5 will sync your demo accounts and give you the full assets to the live market data and other executions on the demo server. Uh, but before we jump um, into the Python alg algorithms, um, let's make sure that everything is working properly and everything is properly connected and ready to go. Uh, the first thing is that you would like to check your connections. First, um, look down at the bottom of the platform, cl click on the journal here. Over here, you will see there is a something like uh, just something like the authorize the things um, authorization is built, and then the and then and then it's successfully connected. And then once you see that, um, then congratulations, it works for you, and then the connections works well. The second thing is that you would like to make sure is that um, at the top, there's an algo trading button. Make sure that is, um, is on green. It needs to be green to allow automated scripts to run. If it's gray or red, click it to enable algo trading. Otherwise, your Python scripts won't be able to send orders or the controls to trace. Now we are all set. Let's see if I can, if we can connect to the MT5. First thing first, if you haven't installed, if you, if you haven't installed the MT5 Python package yet, uh, run this pip commands in your Python environments or notebook, and this will help you to install the official MT5 API. Um, so that you can interact with the method, um, method trader from Python. And then next is that you um, need to import the MT5 package, um, initialize, initialize the MT5, and then log in with your uh, Pepperstone demos account, log in with your credential, make sure re to replace the login details with your own, and then uh, choose the server and then uh, not choose the server, type in the server. And then finally, mt 5 login with your login, with your password, and also with your server. If you run, if you run this code and then if it is accepted and then it's, uh, 
is there's no error, it will return you a true here. Just in case if you run this code and then and then see there's is some some errors related to NumPy, you might want to check your installed NumPy versions and considering and consider updating it or downgrading it um, to a compatible release. Um, in my case, I'm using the Python uh, Python three point light and then the NumPy versions uh, one point twenty six point four, and this combination works perfectly with the MT five so far. And once you uh, you you you've um, installed the MT five logins and confirmed that the NumPy is working, the last step let's take a look. Um, let's verify that you can actually uh, fetch the live market data. Here is a very very simple command to um, to to get the latest um, bit price of of bitcoins of your broker symbols um, with your broker symbols and in this case which is a bitcoin uh, sorry BTC USD dot A uh, make sure that um, this symbol match with the watch list under the MT five. And then if if this printouts the current price without any errors, it means your connection is perfect, your environment is fully set up, and you're ready to start building the algo trading strategies. And congratulations, you are all set. And finally, in the next lesson, we'll finally start working on the most exciting part, building our very first algo, um, algorithmic trading strategy from scratch. You will learn how to fetch the historical data, analyze them, and write the logics that make, make trading decisions automatically. So make sure you are all set here and before, because we are about to turn these connections into real actionable trading boats. So stay tuned.